When I think of a NAS, I think of a big black box and the sound of a bunch of spinning hard drives going off all at once, but not this. This is the NAS Sync DXP 480T Plus, Ugreen's all NVMe 4 bay NAS. Let's talk about it. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Ugreen. They sent over this pre-production version of the NAS Sync DXP 480T Plus, but they have an entire lineup of NASs that are currently on pre-order on Kickstarter. But for this video, I'm gonna primarily focus on this DXP 480T Plus. But be fully aware that this is a pre-production unit running on pre-production software. So things can change and this video may be outdated by the time that this thing is released. All right, the DXP 480T Plus stands out because of, well, genuinely because of how tiny it is. This thing fits nicely on a desk without taking up too much space. It has two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back, an HDMI port, a USB 3.2 port, and the best part, a 10 gigabit ethernet port. As for the spec sheet, it has eight gigabytes of user upgradable RAM, four M.2 NVMe drive bays, 128 gigabytes of built-in flash storage to store the OS, and has an Intel i5-1235U processor. If you're looking at sheer specs for the price, this thing has it. The specs are pretty strong for a pre-built system, but the DXP 480T Plus in particular is interesting because it doesn't have support for any hard drives, only M.2 NVMe SSDs. Why is that important though? Well, the problem with traditional hard drives is that they're slower than SSDs, especially in random reads and writes. Also, they're much louder. SSDs typically don't make any noise. And when combined together in RAID setups, their random reads and writes still aren't good because they have to physically search for the data on each disk. So oftentimes you'll see some hitches or initial snags if you're trying to access it real time. But with SSDs, you not only get faster speeds, but faster random speeds too. But then you might ask why NVMe SSDs instead of SATA SSDs? Well, you're absolutely right. See, SATA SSDs, these little almost card-like things, they're great, but each individual SSD is limited to a maximum speed of 600 megabytes per second due to the SATA port. 10 gigabit ethernet, the port that's available on this NAS, supports up to 1250 megabytes per second, a little over twice as fast. So with one drive or even two for that matter, you can't saturate the entire connection. But at that point, you might just think, well, I'm gonna slap multiple drives in a NAS anyway, so just slap two SATA SSDs together in RAID 0 and you'll get pretty close to saturation. That is true, but that also means you have to always have at least two paired together to get that speed. Not only that, if you do some Googling around, you'll notice that good M.2 drives are around the same cost as good SATA SSDs in the first place. So from a cost perspective, they're basically the same. So since M.2 NVMe drives are faster, you have much more versatility on how you wanna pair them together or just leave them all separate in the NAS. But computers in general are moving towards M.2 drives because they're significantly faster. But that's also what makes this DXP 480T Plus unique in the NAS space, as good specs for a super portable NAS. And with support for M.2 NVMe drives, the speed of the drives are no longer a bottleneck. Capacity is. The DXP 480T Plus supports only up to four terabyte SSDs, so you won't be getting 100 terabytes of data in here. Instead, you can get a total of 16 terabytes in RAID 0 or 12 terabytes in RAID 1 if you have four four terabyte drives. Okay, usually NASes are used for many different things, but on the consumer end, it's mainly for file backups, redundancy, storage, and network access to smaller files, and that's still true, especially for Ugreen's other NASes, but for this DXP 480T, it's a good machine to use as a fast access networking drive to work off of because the bottleneck is the 10 gigabit connection, not the drives. I've been editing my 4K YouTube videos off of the DXP 480T Plus, and it feels like editing natively on my computer. I will point out though, that even with the chip inside of here, write speeds cap out at around 350 megabytes per second, while read speeds are basically capped out. That's still pretty fast though, and that's typically what I see on some of my other NASes. As for a real world example, here's one of my finished YouTube projects that I'm putting onto this NAS, transferring it over this 10 gigabit connection. Pretty fast. And with the Thunderbolt 4 ports, I can just move files from my external drives quickly to the NAS through the web interface. The device itself is quiet when idle, but when moving large files back and forth, it kicks the fans up and they are audible.
This level of noise is expected and in line with other NASAs, but I'm looking forward to seeing future optimizations to it. Ugreen also provides an app that you can download to access its contents. It lets you view your files, provides you the ability to upload documents, photos, and videos. The app also contains all the status information about your NAS, so you don't have to switch around to a bunch of different apps. They have this smart recognition function that allows you to search your photos with keywords instead of scrolling through endless photos, trying to find what you're looking for. I will point out though, that the app store on the Ugreen NAS currently doesn't have any third party offerings. But again, this is a pre-production unit. They're not live yet and more apps are most likely to make their way over there soon. For example, they told me Docker and VM support are coming in late April. Docker would be a great addition that enables you to run programs in containers like Plex or Home Assistant. The OS is currently pretty bare bones with not many features built directly into the box but they have been making constant software updates during the time that I've had it to get it up and ready for prime time. So now let's talk about how I've been personally using this DXP480T+. Because I make YouTube videos, I fill up on storage relatively fast, but at the same time, I also need fast storage. So I filled it up with four one terabyte SSDs that Ugreen provided, and I'm running them in RAID 1, which means I have about three terabytes of storage on this thing, which when I say out loud, sounds pretty small, but that's plenty for me to store a few weeks worth of YouTube video projects while I keep old completed videos on a bigger NAS with slower and larger spinning hard drives. But with this two pronged approach, I have this super fast project drive, but with backups and archive data in my much larger, much slower NAS. It's like having a small and fast sports car for the weekends and a big and slow minivan when I really need to carry a lot of stuff. Overall, I think it serves the purpose of the fast storage device that I can access from any computer on my network pretty well. So that's the Ugreen DXP480T+, Ugreen's upcoming all-flash M.2 NVMe NAS. It's a portable compact NAS that easily fits onto your desk surface. The hardware for the price is relatively competitive for a pre-built NAS, especially one specifically outfitted with just NVMe base. The software is still cooking, but opinions on that can definitely change between now and actual release. But more competition is only a good thing in this space. So if you're interested in your Greens NAS offerings, you can check them out or pre-order them on their Kickstarter page linked in the video description below. But anyway, what do you personally think? Does a small and compact NAS sound compelling? What are you personally looking for in a NAS? Is a NAS important to you at all? How important is the software experience to you? Leave all that down in the comment section below and well, I'll see you all next time. Bye.